Hey guys, Michael Smith here, the Beach Banger. And as we continue to preparate. What did you say? As we continue to prep for the 4th of July show, I have a DIY project for us. We're going to be building a poor man's rack using uh, fiberglass mortar tubes from previous shell kits, along with the uh, six shot uh, hot dog shell kit for, I bought from JR's Fireworks. So let me show you what I got going on here. All right, as you see, I got all my materials laid out that I'll need. Here's the hot dogs that I bought from JR's Fireworks in Dothan, Alabama. These are uh, four inch canister shells. All right, I got a piece of plywood for the base. I got some uh, fiberglass tubes from other shell kits. We're going to um, secure those fiberglass tubes on the, on the base using some screws. As we get those tubes uh, attached to the base, you'll notice that one tube is the original hot dog tube, the other five are not. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, crafting paper and tape and kind of uh, match the other tubes with the uh, hot dog tube. If that makes any sense. I don't know. It's just something I want to do. Anyways, after we do that, we're going to pop the canisters into the uh, tubes and fuse them together with the safety fuse and cable ties. I got all my supplies together. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tubes and place them on the board here. This board uh, come from a, a trash pile, like all my other wood did. It was a scrap piece. And so it's not perfect. I'm not really worried about trimming it up and make it perfect. I just have to uh, set my tubes on here. Now that I have my tubes lined up, I'm going to take this Sharpie and just kind of outline, outline the area here. I'm using um, DeWalt power drill here. I got me a um, bit here to pre-drill my holes. All right, all the tubes now are pre-drilled. I'm going to remove these tubes here and I'll, I'll have to realign them in a minute. But now I'm going to uh, start screwing in the bases. And here comes the flagship tube, the hot dog himself. And the last tube. All the tubes are secure now on the board. I'll probably go back and add some uh, screws on the back side. I'll do that off camera.
All right, so I just got finished securing the fiberglass tubes onto the baseboard. Let's check it out. As you can see here, there's screws and the uh, base plates of the tubes that go into the board. So the tubes are nice and uh, secure. And they're all, they all got two screws in them, except for this, except for the center piece. And I think he's nice and snug, so uh, he won't really matter. All right, so we got the uh, poor man's rack completed as far as the tubes and the base goes. Okay, so our next step is to take this uh, beautiful construction paper that matches the uh, original tube. And we're going to decorate those tubes using this construction paper. All I have to use as far as tape is this general usage tape or masking tape. We'll see how it works. It may not look the prettiest, but uh, it should get the job done. So I got my measuring tape here. And um, as far as the tubes go, there's gonna be a top piece that's orange and a red piece that's in the middle, followed by another orange piece. That's how it's gonna go. And um, you're probably wondering why I'm going through all the hassle I do something crazy like decorating my tubes. Well, I'm ADD like that. More like ADDDD like that. Uh, it's just something to make the rat look cooler. Because, uh, I don't know, these, these Grim Reapers and Patriotic tubes don't really go with the uh, hot dog theme. And so I kind of want it all to match up. We're going to go ahead and get started. I decided that uh, the top and bottom stripe are both going to be like Two and a half inches. That way it's gonna be like a little uh, overlay. These lines are perfect. I know they aren't, but you won't see them. All right, so I got the first two strips written out. And uh, before going further, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut these and attach them. I know it's not that good looking but better than nothing. All right, so uh, those two are attached. For the middle part, we'll need about, I'm gonna go with eight inches for the middle part. Honestly, I don't know if I have enough red paper for that. But we'll see. I know what you're thinking. Why in the world is he trying to decorate the tubes after he put them on the board? Well, this is how my brain thinks. Alright, I know it's not very pretty and all. You can see a big black line there. But who cares, right? I know you're probably thinking, well, if it's out by the beach, it's probably going to get wet. It's going to get messed up anyways. Well, that's not necessarily true. I do have some, uh, some plastic sleeves I can put over them. I guess I need to. All right, I got the first one done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other five off camera. All right, so I just got finished uh, decorating the uh, fiberglass tubes. And I'll show you what I got here. All right, here's the uh, finished tubes. Now I know right away you're gonna say, well, that don't look, they don't look even. It's not even. I ran out of red uh, construction paper like I thought I was going to. That's okay. You know, I know the tape looks a little uh, tacky, but uh, that's all the kind of tape I had. I didn't have any clear tape or any special kind of tape for this. I just used what I had. Like I said, I am the budget banger. And as you can tell by my artwork here, I'm also the half-ass banger, as it looks kind of half-ass. But it's okay, you know what? I like it. Just remember something, all right? When it comes to artwork and fireworks, the artwork is always in the display of the fireworks, not the equipment in which the fireworks are displayed from 
All right, so uh, we're, we're done decorating our tubes, and now let's get to the fun part. Let's uh, let's load these um, hot dogs in the shells, shall we? All right, so here goes cans number one. Let me uh, remove this rubber band and tape here. Number one will go in the first tube, like so. Number two. Number three, number four, here goes number five, and last but not least, here goes number six. So, uh, in the end, we actually have a six pack of wieners after all. Alright, so just an update, we got the, uh, more tubes attached to the baseboard. We got the tube decorated, and now we got the uh, the cancer shells and the tubes. Now all we got to do is fuse them all together. So uh, stay tuned for that. So the last thing we got to do on our list is fuse these bad boys together and we're going to use some safety fuse this fuse burns about 24 28 uh, seconds per foot which is pretty slow now when fusing these wieners together I would just you know go ahead and uh, fuse them together with the original fuses like so but um, I think in the end because of the gap uh, it's gonna be a lot tighter than what I want and so uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the safety fuse. I'm going to pull off about uh, two foot of safety fuse. And this first one is going to have a little leader line to it. A few extra inches. Give me room to work with here. Take my zip ties, make my loops. I always double zip tie all my fuses to ensure a good spark ignition. I probably want to go ahead and uh, kind of loop it around here a little bit like, like so nice and tight this you always want these fuses to go the same direction to uh, I'm sorry you want the, the fuse of the canister shell uh, facing the oncoming fuse the way there's a good ignition there like so I might have to put another cable tie on that one because that one's kind of loose right there. Kind of like a loop in the middle. Actually, you know what I've done? It was backwards. I actually got number six going off second. Number one, number six, number five. Oh well. It'll be alright. 
And now for the last one, which happens to be number shell number two. All right, they're all fused together. Let me get these tabs off. All right, there you go. Uh, basically, I'm gonna light it here. It's gonna start this way, get number one, number six, five, four, three, and two. I'm an idiot. That's why I'm an amateur pyro, not a professional pyro. These are slow fuse together, like I said, so they won't be very fast, they'll go off slow, but it is what it is. To prevent spark jumping, and also to help contain the spark and ensuring uh, proper ignition. I'm going to use more of this general tape. I'm actually going to uh, kind of cover it a little bit. This is just kind of a tactic that pyros like to do. This, not, this may not be the best tape for this kind of stuff. This tape that I got. That tape's gonna help contain the fuse where it needs to be. It's gonna help contain the sparks where they need to be. All right, so there you go. That's the finished product. All six fiberglass motor tubes um, connected to the baseboard by square screws to form a poor man's rack with hot dog shells, four inch hot dog shells. They've been fused together and they've been taped over. And uh, this is where the fuse starts. Like I said, right here and right here. I know it don't look great. It looks kind of tacky maybe. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I like it. All right, so uh, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, keep banging.